Hello there. Here we will follow the sequence. First we will understand the problem, then we will see how to do that with TSQL and finally we will implement the same solution using Python. We already did a hello world in a previous video, okay, in SQL Server and Python. And we already saw how parameters work. Here we will do a more realistic example. I inspired myself in another video from another person and I will leave a link for that video in the description of this one, okay? And the problem is, we have a sales table where we have a year, a quarter, a client and a revenue and we want to do a transformation like this one, okay? So the first four rows here are mapped into this. We have the year, the client, then we have the quarter 1, 2, 3 and 4 all separated and finally we have the total, that is the sum of all the quarters. And the definition of table sales is just this, create table, sales, and we have a year, that is an integer, it is not null, we have a quarter, that is a varchar with max 10 shars, and is not null, a client, that is a varchar with 10 shars at max, and it is also not null, finally a revenue, that is an integer, and it is not null, so let's create this, and is just this. After this we have the inserts, okay, the data, okay, so let's run this and finally we can do a select and we get this table here. Let's start by seeing the solution with the SQL. We start with this query, this simple query, where we select the year, the quarter, the client and the revenue from sales. Also, we do a check if the quarter is null and we do the sum of the revenue grouping by year, quarter and client. This check is null on the quarter doesn't do anything because by definition the table sales cannot have quarters that are null. Also, the sum of the revenue grouping by year, quarter and client. Well, if we check here in our sample data, the combination of the year, quarter and client is never, never repeated. So, this sum of the revenue is is like it's not here, okay? So this query as it is, is the same thing as having a simple select all from sales. If we add these three lines with a having year and client not null, we are saying to SQL Server to show us all the records of the table and also include all the possible combinations of the year and the client where the year and the client are not null. Because we are not saying anything about the quarter, the quarter will be null. So that's why these four new records have total in the quarter. About the revenue, we are not saying anything about the revenue here, so it will compute the sum of the revenue here. And if you remember, if you remember from the previous example, we have here the 7901, okay? The first four rows here are mapped into these. This is not yet what we want. We need to wrap this into a select all from. Then we do times pivot sum revenue for the quarter in quarter 1, 2, 3 and 4 and finally we have a total. Okay, with this we get into this result where we have the year, the client, quarter 1, quarter 2, 3 and 4 and finally the total, the sum of all the quarters. Now let's do the implementation with Python. We will do the code in Visual Studio Code because it's more easy for us, okay? The first thing that we need to do is actually get a CSV file from SQL Server with the sample data. Then we need to load the CSV information into a variable. Then we can do a cross tab. This is a pandas function, okay? And the definition says that it computes a simple cross tabulation of two or more factors factors, by default computes a frequency table of the factors unless an array of 
values and an aggregation function are passed okay this can be a little Chinese for us and we will see how it works okay next we need to reset the index and again it's another thing about pandas it resets the index of a data frame and use the default one instead if the data frame has a multiple index this method can remove one or more levels again this is a little Chinese for us so we will see what this does okay the final step we can copy the code and use it in TSQL okay for the first step in management studio we just need to select the data like this and in the top left corner right click and we say that we want to save these as we choose our folder and we provide a name sales data okay we choose the csv format and we save here in visual studio code we can see our sales data csv okay as you can see we don't have here the headers so we go again to management studio we don't want to write the columns one by one so we can go here right click and copy the headers because because we already have here some data it will copy the headers plus the rows and we don't want this so to avoid that we write select top zero percent of everything from sales and these will give us just the columns the name of the columns so right click copy headers we go to visual studio code again we make a new line and we paste the data now we need to add commas like this we save this and the csv file is okay now we can do our code we go to the sales analysis pie and first we need to declare a path for our file so we go here to sales right click and copy path we go again here and we just have to paste the path okay next part is we have a variable called data that is equals to and we need to import for these import pandas as pd okay if you don't have pandas installed you can go to the terminal and we just need to type pipe install pandas like this and hit ok and it will do everything that you need okay next we say pd pandas dot read underscore csv and we provide the path so this is our second step if you want to see what is in this variable data we need to do a print data we open a terminal and we can say pi sales analysis enter and it prints our csv file okay here and now we can go to the third step that is doing the cross tab so table is equals to pd dot cross tab inside we provide first a list of data dot here and data dot clients this is actually a group by in rows what it will group in rows next we say data dot quarter this is what it will group by in columns the next parameter is the values that are equals to data dot revenue and this is the values to aggregate the next part is how it will aggregate so we say aggregate function is equals to sum it will do a sum let me hide this it will do the sum of the values these values the revenue okay now we can see the result of this table we just print here print table we can comment this we don't need this anymore and we will run this on the terminal we say pi sales analysis enter and we got this let's see the meaning of the code that we just did and 
we have this list where we say that we have the year and we have the client and we are grouping by in the rows so our rows are grouped by the year and by the client in the other hand we have the quarter here that is grouped by in the columns so the quarter is grouping by here in the column sides so the quarter goes in this direction and the year and the client goes in this direction quarter is horizontal and year and client in the vertical okay at this moment we don't have nothing useful okay because we don't have the values that we want the the sum of the quarters to do that we need to add another parameter and the parameter is margins equals to true okay it will have margins if we go here again and we execute we got these now we have here another column that says all and it is the sum of the quarters also in the end here we have this all where we have the sum of the quarters in the vertical direction okay notice something here this all okay also notice here that the year and the client are not here in the column sides so if we go to the sql server it will be be bad it will happen bad things because this is not like a table of SQL to do that we go to the fourth step that is table dot reset index and we say that it is in place equals to true we save this and we run again and now we have this the quarter as a column the year as another column the client as another column and so forth okay now we are ready to go to the sql part okay so we can just copy this code copy go to management studio and we have here the template that we used in the previous videos okay so here in the script part we just paste the code here we will not have a csv file so we can delete this also we can delete this because it's a comment and what else we need to give a name to the input data it will be called just data because we are using here a variable named data also the output will be called just output okay and here in the end we say that the output is equals to the table the results table that we got from the python script okay now we need to provide the input data that is the select so we say select here quarter client and finally revenue from sales just this let's try to run this and see what happens and first don't forget that launchpad should be running okay and we execute this and we got this error what this error is well we have here some information invalid bxl stream also we have printed out because we are printing the table here we are printing the table and we have here the information about the table but the script completed with errors remember when i said to you to take notice about this year and about this all notice this all okay we have this year that is an integer and the all is a string oh yes the table sales defines that the year is an integer since we are doing a simple select since we are providing two the python script a simple select where we just provide the year the year goes like an integer and python is mixing integers and strings in the same column okay so sql will receive a column and it has integers and strings so we must convert into a var char the year and let's call this as year and if we run 
we got the result with everything okay okay so the only thing that is in fault here is the name of the columns let's call these let's say that we have with result sets open open close close and let's move this into the next line and let's call this year and this year is a n var char of let's say 10 chars at max the next will be the client and is again a n var char of 10 chars the next one is a quarter one that is a integer a quarter two that is another integer quarter three and finally the quarter four that is a uh, integer the last column will be the total that is a uh, integer k okay. we save this we run and now we got here the result as you can see if we compare the python script with the sql query besides it is not too much big compared with the python script but the query itself it is more complex more difficult to do okay so this is a big advantage using python is the simplicity this is the end don't forget to look into the description of this video you can find their links for the source code of this video the documentation about pandas and also the video that i inspired myself to do this one okay and as always thank you for watching